everybody and welcome! In the previous tutorials, I explained how to update the firmware of your ESP32 board over the air using an IoT dashboard, Freshen, or the ESP HTTPS OTA component that is shipped with the ESP IDF framework. You can find the links to these tutorials in the description. Many customer devices offer the possibility to return to the original firmware or to reset all the configuration. You usually perform a factory reset by pressing a button and keeping it pressed for some seconds. Today I show you how to implement the same in your ESP32 project. To understand how the code works, let's first recap what happens when you do an over-the-air update. If you use the default partition table for OTA, named Factory App to OTA Definitions, your flash memory contains three partitions that can store applications or firmwares. The partition type of those partitions is App. When you reset the chip, the bootloader looks for an App partition with the boot flag and runs the firmware stored in that partition. The factory partition is where the firmware is loaded when you program the board via USB. The ASP tool loads your firmware in that partition and when complete, it flags the factory partition with the boot flag. When you perform an over-the-air update, the new firmware is stored in one of the two available OTA partitions and then this partition receives the boot flag. This means that if you want to run the original firmware, the one stored in the factory partition, you have to find this partition and set the boot flag on it. In your code, you can use the ESP partition find method to find a specific partition. Here I'm looking for a partition of type app and subtype factory. The method returns an iterator because it can find more than one partition that matches the criteria. If the iterator is not null, at least one partition was found. You can get a pointer to the first partition found with the ESP partition get method and use the method ESP OTA set boot partition to flag this partition with the boot flag. At the end, you have to restart the chip to boot from the factory partition and run the original firmware. Let me also show you how can I detect if the button was pressed for more than 3 seconds. I attached an interrupt to the IO pin connected to the reset button. The interrupt service routine, button ISR handler, is called every time the IO pin changes. It means every time the button is pressed or released. This routine simply notifies the event to a task. In the task, I can check the current level of the button to understand if the button was pressed or released. If pressed, I save in a variable the current time. If released, I can check if it was pressed more than 3 seconds before. I have to multiply the constant for 1 million because the ESP timer get time function returns the number of microseconds since boot. Let's now test the program. I've already performed an OTA and now my board is running firmware 0.2, which blinks the green LED. Let's now press the factory reset button for more than 3 seconds. As you can see, the board was rebooted. It's now running the factory firmware. 0.1, which blinks the red LED. Thanks for watching.